This is a short demonstration of the Keithley Model 2200 power supply list mode operation. In this demo, we'll show a 5 voltage point list to be executed twice in the continuous mode operation. Let's begin by configuring the list. The first step is to press shift and menu. So shift and the display will show shift and menu, that's numeric keypad 1. As you can see, the display is entering the menu list. So let's use the up and down arrow to move to edit list. Once the display shows edit list, press enter. The display will then show recall 3, which means it's recalling from memory location 3. At this point, this is not important to us. Let's just press enter. The next step, the power supply will prompt you to set continuous mode or step mode. Since this demo is using continuous mode, let's use the arrow button to move it to continuous and press enter. Next, the display will prompt you to enter the number of repetitions of this particular list. For this demo, we're repeating the list twice. So 2 and press enter. The next step is to configure the number of steps in the list. Since we said this is a 5 voltage point, the number of steps is 5. The, the display is showing 5 already, which we'll is press enter. Now we're going to configure each individual step in the list. The display is now showing S001, which means step 1, and the first number is the voltage setting. It is currently at 2 volt, and we're happy with that, which we'll is press enter. The next step is entering the current limit for this particular step. It is currently at 5 amps, and we'll just press enter. The last step in this voltage setting is the time duration. It is currently set to one second, and we're okay with that too, so we'll just press enter. Now the display is prompting you to enter step two of the list. In step two, we're also setting the voltage at five volt, and the display is showing five volt we'll just press enter. The current limit now is at 5 amps and we're happy, we'll just press enter. The time duration is 1 second, we can change that to 2 seconds by pressing 2, enter, and the display will shift you to the next step, which is step 3. As you can see, it's S003 and it's ready for you to accept the voltage setting. Right now it's set to 1 volt, and we're happy with that. We can just press enter. And the current limit is at 1 amp. If you would like to change that, you can change that to, say, 3 amps, and press enter. And the duration is 1 second. Again, we can change that to 2 seconds, and press enter. Step 4 is currently set to 6 volt. As you can tell, the display is showing S004 equals to 6 volt. And we can change that to 7 volt by pressing 7 and then enter. And then we're setting the current limit for this step. Uh, currently, it's set to 3 amps, and we're happy with that. We can just en press enter. And the duration is set to 2 seconds. We can change that to 1 second and press enter. Now we're into the last step of this list, which is step 5. The display has, is showing S005 equals 3 volt. And we're happy with that. We can just leave it and pre by pressing enter. And the current limit is 1 amp. We can press enter. And the duration is 3 seconds. We'll shorten that to 2 seconds by pressing 2 and enter. So we're done configuring the list. Now we have to save this list into memory location 3. 
The screen is showing save list 3, which indicates memory location 3. So we can just press enter, and we're done. Um, the display will show edit list. That just returns the setting to the menu list. So by pressing escape, we'll return to the default display of the power supply. To run the list, we'll press output on off button first to turn on the output. So press output on and off. Now the light is lit. And then we have to initiate the list by pressing shift and list. Shift, now the display is showing shift. List, which is numeric keypad 2. Press 2. The display will prompt you to run the memory location where the list is stored. Since we store it in memory location 3, we're happy with the 3 setting, which we'll is press enter. Now the display will show you L3 colon EE, which means the power supply is ready to execute this in memory location 3. To trigger the start of the run, we'll have to press shift trigger. So shift, and display showing shift, and trigger, which is numeric keypad 3, press 3. As you can tell, the voltage is changing. And it's done. This concludes our demo.